Hello guys, Oscar Hotel 8, Sierra Tango, November from Survival Tech Nord. Today we have another PSK31 video for you. It's QRP with Lima Zulu 2 Romeo Romeo uh, in Bulgaria to myself here in the middle northern Finland. We were using the FT817, uh, the Wolfie Link interface, the Chameleon F Loop in stealth mode, and a Google Nexus 9 running Droid PSK. Now, last time around, some of you asked me to explain the different components that make up this type of ultra-portable system. I'll do that first, and then I'll show you the QSO along with some dialogue. So stick with me, and let's get started. You are listening to the Emergency Broadcast Systems. This station broadcasts emergency news and official information on the air for a signed area. Last time around, people asked about the equipment configuration, so let's start with that one. An Android-powered digital field station might be a smart choice for operators who are already carrying a fully capable Android device in their pockets. Let's take a look at the two different types of systems that I'm using. Depending on how portable I need to be on that day, I choose between a tablet and smartphone. I'm using the Woofie Link audio interface, but you could make your own cables as well. Thanks to the built-in keyboard in Android, you can use it or choose to use a Bluetooth or wired keyboard. Generally, I use the Yezu FT817 ND, but at times I also use the UKIT's TJ2B, both with any number of antennas. Now we are about to start an in-depth series on ultra-portable digital communications on Android, but feel free to ask me anything in the comments. All right, now to the QSO. First things first, we see Lima Zulu 2, Romeo Romeo, calling CQ on 30 meters. Naturally, I respond to his CQ and wait for his response. He responds with QRZ, which means he couldn't really hear me. Uh, he repeats his call and invites that station to call again. As soon as I see him calling QRZ, I adjust the heading of the loop to put my signal directly in his path. This maximizes my signal and gives him the best chance of receiving me. Then I repeat my call to him to see if that made any difference. Now we can see on his return that changing the heading actually made a huge difference. I believe initially I was beaming southeast rather than uh, directly south to his location. As with the last PSK31 QSO, this operator returns with uh, some information. His name, location, uh, grid square and so on. But notice he put my name first. This should tell you that oh, we've had a QSO before. Digital operators are quite a small community, so you get to know one another, at least the call signs, as you operate from uh, day to day. So I reply with a standard macro. I send my name anyway. Yeah, I give him his signal report and I copied everything, so I give him a 599. I tell him my location, Olu, my grid square at the moment. Uh, I tell him where he can get more information, and I ask him uh, how he copied my last transmission. On his return, you're going to notice that there's some QSB, some fading, or maybe band conditions are uh, not adequate. Still, there are enough correct letters to understand what it is that he's saying to us. And that is his call sign to my call sign. Uh, Julian, thanks for the QSO. Bye-bye. So that's quick and dirty. His call sign, my call sign, SK, which means uh, that's all. And I reply, uh, also quick and dirty, many thanks blah 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 standard uh, goodbye because I know the guy and I've talked to him on the bands before we do this so that uh, 
We don't waste time with each other. We take advantage of bad conditions and try to make more QSOs. And now he's in the logbook. All right, guys, please do me a favor and let me know if these types of videos are of benefit to you in the comments. Regardless, we're going to look at uh, PSK Mail and FLDG for Android in upcoming episodes. Alright guys, that brings us to the end of the video. Don't forget to like us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, support us on Patreon, find us on Pinterest, Google+, and of course survivaltechnology.net where we share lots of news, information, and articles from our channel buddies. Finally, if you've enjoyed this video and you think I deserve it, please give me a thumbs up and share this video with someone who might enjoy it. Alright guys, rock and roll. Thanks for watching. Ciao.